Okay, so I delivered your ass to the planetarium. Yes, <laughs> and mine too. Okay, guys, I gotta go. I have some spectrophotometry of post starburst galaxies to analyze. Oh, Don't God suck. bless you. All right. <laughs> Chuck, hey, pleasure. Chuck, thanks right. so much, man. Give me a ride anytime. Hey, oh, All you right. know it. Take care, Neil. All right, dude. As always. Man. All right. All right. Okay. See you later. Thanks. So, so we are here. We are in the hall of the universe. Yes. And we got people here who like work in the universe. And I see one of them standing right there. See that guy right there? Who is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I know that guy. How you been, man? Good, how are you? <laughs> Carter. Carter. What's up, Carter? Carter? Just got back. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, Come on in. Good. Talk to Come us. On in. Come on in here. Come back from where? Where were you? I was in Singapore, Thailand, teaching in Cambodia. I met the royal astronomer in, yeah. in Thailand. I always wanted to be oh, somebody's royal time. astronomer. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a royal something, <laughs> according to my mom and my wife. <laughs> Astronomy doesn't measure into the actual equation, though. So he's got one of the coolest business cards ever, ever conceived. Right. Okay, so what, what, did, what does it say? Well, it's, I'm director of astro visualization, which is a contraction of, say, um, the director of astronomical and astrophysical data visualization. Wow. Okay, but does anyone else in the world <laughs> Who have the title of that? director of astro visualization? Uh, I don't think so. Right, there you go. Anyway. You are the only one. <laughs> I, guess. I guess. People, one of a kind. Yeah, we, right got here. we got him. We got him. This is Carter Emmer. <laughs> one of a kind. <laughs> what, what it means, it, it, what it means is I direct the space shows, but we also have the software development, uh, currently NASA funded. Uh, it's a collaboration with with Sweden. It's a collaboration with uh, New York University and also the University of Utah wow. on data visualizing the universe and its dynamics. So that we can look we're at these. Because we 3D yeah. all the way to the edge. Yeah. 3D to the end. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. We're 3D or die. <laughs> so the, the dome is the uh, digital universe is natively 3D. Right. And, that we, and when you display it on a dome and move through it, it's it's pretty much like the dioramas here, but in a sense animated, and you're really there, you're really there. to the measurable quantities. And of, just to be clear, yeah. just to be clear, right. we're not talking about the 3D where you put on glasses and then... Well, don't knock that. I, I am going to knock it. You can you, do you, that. I, I am going to knock it. Oh, no, don't Let knock it. Let me tell it. you how I'm going to knock it. Why? Okay. okay. Because if you're going to have your stereoscopic view right. give you 3D, and you did that in the universe? I've seen people do that, and it's, oh my gosh, look at the galaxy, it's spinning right here in front of my eyes. The moment you do that, the galaxy is this big. Right, that's true. And galaxies are not this big. They're uh, bigger than this. Uh, in <laughs> red and black, they are this big. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay. But, but, but we, we have freedom to move our eyes to intergalactic scale and thus view the universe that way. So we can use like a VR headset and see mm -hmm. this material. Okay. But the, the, the point is, is that that the, the measurements are all accurate and, and so forth, but they, the, the, the experience is authentic in the sense of what we've collected as, as information about the positions of stars. And, and, you, and your brain stuff. gives you 3D because he figures out a way to move through the data so that there's parallax of the nearby objects relative to the distant objects, and he knows how close to go to one versus another so that you feel the full three-dimensionality of space. But wait a minute. Without, without making the galaxy be this little and be a toy in front of you. So you're saying that you're having an actual um, 3D mapping to scale when you look at it from your human perspective? We, we if, well. I mean, not real to scale no, no, because you. You mean, would is be, it actually what you would, would see, see in if you're in it space? Yeah. It, it, yes, it is authentic. So, in other words, if you were to fly to uh, Alpha Centauri yes, and look at the sky, you right. would see the sun in the sky as we, we see the star Alpha Centauri in the sky. So anyway, and we see it accurately for a position. That's that's what the space shows are based in. That's the set by which we then that's play, how we roll play out, oh, that is <laughs> we play out our simulations. That is you know, amazing. Visually. So yeah. you can literally, not literally, you can visually take a spaceship ride through the galaxy yeah. inside yeah. of your experience. That was that was the major difference between the old Hayden and the new Hayden. So as what was conceived in the rebuild of this place was essentially to do that. Go from a flat star map mm -hmm. to a 3D star map. It's, it's real. Wow. Yeah. So here's the deal. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to do something, Neil. What's that? We're going to fade to black, uh -huh. right? And when we fade to black, dark universe. I, well, I want you to give me just a little something that opens the dark universe. <laughs> All right? Can you? you go. Ready? Uh, See you okay. later. We're fading to black. As we fade to black, never forget, 
that all that drives this universe is dark. Dark matter, dark energy, the darkness in the still of the vacuum of space. <laughs> hey, fade back up! That was awesome! <laughs> <laughs>